Hello. Um, I do apologise. Uh, new laptop, as you may have seen from Blue Nose Beer Reviews uh, stream a couple of weeks ago. Um, say a couple of weeks ago. It was December. Um, my laptop suffered a horrific beer-related incident. Um, so it's new laptop, so I had to get it all sorted out. It took me a bit of time. I'm not pissed, Raggy. I've only had one. Um, so today it was just a quick thank you, just to say thanks very much for 100 subscribers. Wasn't expecting even one, but it was a nice surprise. Um, so today, in beers that I'm not really keen on, chili beers. So we'll go through. I've got Harry from Blue Dose Beer Reviews. Hello there. Also in the and Greg from Bullman's Beer Reviews, also here. Oh, um, no. <laughs> um, so I believe we've all got chili beers. Um, mine are extremely cold because I've only just taken them out of the fridge because it was a silly decision. I should take them out earlier. Um, my first one is Brewdog's Nitro Choco Libre, which is a Mexican hot chocolate stout. At 8.2 ABV. And Harry, what have you got? Um, well, I found another one, but I'm not sure if it is, and also it's also Imperial, so I don't really want to try it. Um, Mr. Struck from Jopen. Um, it's a Mexican cake pastry stout coming in a very sessionable 11% ABV. Okay. And Bullman? Uh, I've got a cream ale with blood orange and jalapeno called Weird Pop from the Brewing Project out of Wisconsin. So, yeah, lo looks like uh, Ren and Stimpy or something on the can. I quite like that. It's quite cool. So, yeah, cream ales, I'm not big on them, but mm -hmm. I'm not big on chili either, so we'll, we'll see what this yeah. happens. Mm -hmm. I like it in see, dark I... <laughs> So, already people have been waiting because I was slightly late, which I have apologised about. Um there's loads of comments. So Craig, who is doing a eight o'clock live event, that's per Friday. Harry, give me grief before he was even on. <laughs> and Mr. Cummings, saying early evening. Uh, Steve's Brewing Channel saying good evening. <laughs> Raggy, Raggy was late all week. To be fair to him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then discussion between Raggy, Andrew, and Steve. Uh, no, no pizza tonight. Pizza, pizza's drinking Stella alone. And I was like, <laughs> proper job from Ali. Hounding for it. Uh, homemade cider. Nice. 11 people waiting, that is a surprise. It's usually three. <laughs> and one of them is it's, usually me. It's the raggy effect. Yeah. It is the raggy effect. I was, I was very, I was very uh, humbled by his shout out. He's, he's, been he's been amazing lately. I love raggy. Yeah, he's a good lad. I was pissed. I've literally not even had one beer. I'm halfway through a double wheat beer on the side. Rushed me tea. <laughs> It's always the wrong channel. It's never the right channel. Thank you very much for your subscription. Yeah, it's not going to be dry for a minute. The full one's already opened it. Uh, yeah, I'm too eager. I'm too eager. I'm just getting yeah. cracking in. I'm, 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 I'm going to open. I just can't wait. He says whilst having a beer open. I've got a beer open at the same time. Oh, nice choice sound. Mine, like I, I thought about putting in the fridge, like I said the other day, Adam, and then I just didn't. Yeah, I just completely forgot to do it last night. So it's warm. Oh, it's getting it. That's not warm. warm. I've, I've never had but, that in cans. I've only ever had it on draft, the old version. I quite liked it, but it's better beers by a brew dog. But... There is. Mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, hot beers for equally hot men. I'm not sure. Let's hope this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that spicy. <laughs> I your, also hate Chili and Beans. Evening to Lucy. Thank you very much. 
I waffle as well. Uh, look who it is. Everyone likes it. I like that. Dee -dee -dee. Chinese. Very nice. All Very of them. Nice. Yeah, all. <laughs> Everyone likes Chinese. <laughs> all of them. All of them. So, I say it is extremely cold. I wasn't really anticipating it being that cold. Mm. Definitely chocolate. Just put it down between well, your legs and warm it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good idea. It, it works. Warm spares up. God, this is some right old text on this one. It says, this is not just any beer you're holding right now. Anything but boring. This That's our motto, meaning that everything we brew is a typically tasty and definitely different. A contrast to the common, but only you can be the judge. Stop reading this label. Thank you. Uh, till we head back <laughs> up and enjoy this divine beer. Yeah. And it's got more of the other side, which is not the bother reading. But it's, it talks about the ingredients and shit. I'm just trying to see how potatoey my internet is. That's not that potatoey. There we go. That's not too bad. Not, not full right. scouts. Yeah. No. Not tonight. Uh, it's not boom and dial not. up level. <laughs> <laughs> not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd love, I'd love to read the pump on here, but it is so small, it is impossible to read. It just says Mexican hot chocolate stout, wrestle taste to the canvas. M mine just mm. says, mine says, taste the, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <don't know>. Details. <laughs> um. Yeah, mine says dessert, dessert, please. This Mexican cake is sweet and full-bodied. Has anyone actually ever had a Mexican cake? I've, I've had Tempest. Made of real no. Mexicans. I've had Tempest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> made from real Mexicans, yeah. I've never had a Mexican cake. Mexican. You, see, you, see, you, see, you see so many beers that are Mexican cakes. Um, yeah, made full-bodied with caramel, coffee, cinnamon flavours, mildly bitter with a tingly, spicy aftertaste. Uh, so apparently every year we brew a masterpiece in honour of Harlem Brewing uh, Brewers Guild in the Middle Ages membership of craft guilds was achieved by creating a masterpiece. And this is apparently the openness since 1994, which I yeah. don't know that, I that's always, old. I always say that the I said, I said to, if anyone watches Dutch beer reviews, Thomas opened, um, I said to him, are they not the Thorn, Dutch Thornbridge? And he, he said no. <laughs> <sighs> they are better than, than Dutch Thornbridge. They're better than Dutch Thornbridge. Mm. Is anyone getting a spicy smell before you've even drank it? Oh yeah, it's in, it's filled the room with it. Yeah, it's like a sweat. It must be like <laughs> leading me up for what I'm gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> mine's mine's a mine's I'm a gonna... boozy one. It's just burny chocolate. Is there ever had dark chocolate with chilies in? That's, that's what Do you mean. not like chili and beer at all then, Adam? No. I've had a couple. I got tricked into one in Texas. Uh, because uh, because they said, the I, I said, what do you recommend? And they said, well, this is the staff's recommendation. And it was a 12% 12, 12 Imperial Habanero Stout. Burn my mouth. Yeah, I, I think it works in dark beers. Just the same with like chilli chocolate. But, I mean, it's not too bad in this cream ale. I mean, I'm not a big fan of cream ales, but it's, um, when I've had it in IPAs in the past, it's just <laughs> too much. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's not my least favourite style. Brew IPAs that can get in the sea, as far as I'm concerned. But I've had a quick sip. Um, Fuck. Luckily, the chocolate is there, but that kick at the back is just like. Uh... See what, what what I said to you earlier in the week, Adam, was like, um, I find that chili beers in general. I could never get on with them. It was exactly the same as you. I just could never get on with them. I hated them with a fucking passion. And then I started putting them in the fridge. 
and just chilling them down massively and then trying them. Mm. And more and more of that, we got into chili as well. I got into hot sauces. I'm mad for hot sauces at the moment. Um, you know, mad palate destroying the hot sauces. Um, I'll never go quite as far as getting, you know, something that will truly destroy my palate because I know some can. But, you know, I, I do like, I do appreciate hot sauces. Um, I don't want to go too hot though. Um, but like, Farm Bridge is I good. Think, what's that? The, the Jaipur Farm Bridge one's good. Are they, are they, they doing hot sauce? I didn't realize yeah. they did one. Yeah, they do. They do a they do a hot sauce and they do a barbecue. Um, I've got the I've got the hot sauce in the fridge. It's very nice. Oh, okay, well, I'll check that out. Mm. Yeah, they like it because I. They yeah. won't like it. <laughs> they don't like anything that's not craft. <laughs> <laughs> If, if they don't do screen prints, you're not interested. Um, mm. But yeah, like I, I find putting them in, in the fridge uh, for a little bit, you know, putting them overnight and then have a note, getting them out of the fridge about an hour before you're about to drink it. I found that was the perfect temperature to start drinking them. Um, but that said, I didn't do this on this because I was an idiot. Yeah, I, I forgot. forgot about it. Yeah. I completely forgot. Um, because I, I, I still thought that like today was yesterday and yeah, it was all messed up. I can guarantee <laughs> anyone that takes this shirt off will be kicked. <laughs> you really don't want to see my, my body either. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like, it's it's like Simon, but, it's Simon, but six foot three. So, that's Simon's really physique is far um, better than mine as well. <laughs> it's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> You put me to shame. I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> but no. It's gone for a quick, um, gone, gone for a quick best, wank thinking about Simon. What's the best you think you've had them? I, you had the same one as me from um, in the Estonia box. You got the one of those chilli beers, yeah. didn't you? I thought that was yeah, really that was good. Nice. Yeah, I, I um, like it when it's sort of like, it's got like smoke in it. So that worked, yeah. that worked for me. Yeah, um, I, I, I had I had one from from Westbrook years ago. Craig brought it to a bottle share back in twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen. No, twenty sixteen. Dean was there as well, and um, we had it in tilt. And I was like, I don't, I don't like it. And it was it was it was a Westbrook collab with mm. someone, um, and it was a bit big on the chili. And uh, back then, I wasn't you know I, I like I like my curries and stuff like that. But I think when it's out and out chili, it's just a different thing. Um, and it was just really in yeah. your face with the chili. Really was in, in your face, and I just couldn't really, could really hack it. But I suppose if I had to drink that same beer now, or if it was to come out now nowadays, I'd be okay with it. Uh, ironically, me and Craig had that conversation yesterday. Uh, I the Mexican cake. Yeah, I was going to say that the, it's a, the twenty twenty is available, and it's twenty one pounds for a seven fifty bomber. And I said, "Is it worth it?" And he said, "Yes." Hmm. That was the the Westbrook one. Yeah, yeah. Craig enjoyed it, as did Dean. I didn't. I, I don't think I would be spending that money on a on a chili beer, but Craig said it's <laughs> worth it. If yeah. you want the link, I can send you the link. No. I'm I'm good. Um, I'm good. Uh, right. So not only did I think that was a good idea with the chili beer no, to get one, I also thought I'd double down. And get another one, which is I've had it in for a while. Uh, Harry assures me it's quite old, and I looked at the thing and it's quite old. But yeah. James Clay, importer extraordinaire, guarantees it till twenty twenty eight. So we'll see. <laughs> Unlike the brew dog, it's not nitro, and hopefully it's slightly better uh, because it is aged on coffee, vanilla, uh, chilies, and cacao nibs. It is slightly bigger than the brew dog. And that is at 12. I think it's 12. I've lost it now. Not that I had it in the first place. 13%. Yeah, fashionable. I nearly kicked myself out then instead of zooming. Why would they put, why would they put those buttons right next to each other? Um, and. <laughs> My lips are on fire now. <laughs> Mine are. So that's why you double down. Yeah, then... I'm starting to feel the heat on the, on my just like a tingle on my lips now. Yeah, how anybody could Not drink these all night. It's just 
beyond me. Points no. left, still got. I think I was th I was thinking today, like my favourite ones. Have you ever heard Figgis is Dirty Sanchez? Mm -hmm. Yeah, years ago. Yes. Yeah. That's a smoke Chipotle. Smoke that's not really a that's, that's, Yeah, I, I quite like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the slight heat off it. Quality book. But, um, we went to um, went to brew dog share once, and some. Mm -hmm. Brought this macro lager with the full gillet, and fuck me, that was disgusting. Was oh, uh, with, with the whole Chilean, whole Chilean side of it. Like I, I've reviewed that years ago. Yeah, with the, with the, full, the full chili. Yeah, it was like chili oil, like drinking chili oil. Yeah, wasn't good. Good strength, premium. Yeah. This isn't too bad in comparison because I think it's got that sweetness of a pastry stout to kind of combat against the uh, the, uh, the the hardcore kind of chilli note of it. Um, well, I'm hoping this is the same. Is, what's your? Does it say what's in yours other than chilli and? Yeah, um, water, barley, wheat, oats, lactose, cocoa nibs, uh, oh, sugar yes. candy, vanilla, cinnamon, chilli peppers, hops, and yeast. So the oh, vanilla is low. definitely sweet up. And lactose as well. Yeah, definitely. It's fucking nice though. It'd be better if it was colder. Definitely getting more chocolate off this one than the other one. It would be nice if the can was half the size. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, they should be three thirties. No, pint cans only. Well, yeah, a US pine camp, which is not really a pine camp. Um, the D four foot four oh two because of the night the nitro widget. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Fake pints. What is an American pint though? Uh, ooh, good point. Is it like it's like five oh? Is it five oh six? They're short pints, aren't they? They're not. Just, just, just wrong, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, not even that. The US pint is 473 millilitres and change. That kind of explains a 440 a bit more, I suppose. Yes. But still, <laughs> it's a weird size. Yeah. Bookman. Bookman. No, he's Bookman now. Yep. Bookman. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> I've had worse. I can't even get my well, surname right when I, on my channel. <laughs> I did wonder why you went for a different spelling. Dog. It's this there's, there's a Scottish fella and he comes in and that's how he says my name in the book. Bookman. That's how he says that your name. Yeah, he can't say bone, so he calls me Boomin. Boomin. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. A 473. Dropping some knowledge. That's almost a pint. 16's a weird amount. 16 is a weird amount of fluid ounces. Why not 15 or 20? Well, because tw 12 is 330 mil, isn't it? Yeah, was it US US fluid? Why Why does American ha have their own system? Just to they do be different. It's, Just in, to be in my work, tons are different as well. Metric ton. Yeah, and, I know. I know tons ton. are different. But also, it's not an imperial ton. An imperial ton is different again. America just needs to turn in, into using fucking millimeters and meters and centimeters and shit like that. Yeah, you can't be doing you with your own fake stuff you know magic stuff that you like to make up make up now and again <laughs> oh, <laughs> with the rest so foam <laughs> all right that's it is it, it chilly list it's getting worse. It's not getting better. It's getting I, worse. I, 
I think you would have generally been been fine with this one. This one's really nice. It's just nice and sweet, sugary, but not overly sugary. I think the the, the chili definitely just hits you. But um, I have a seasoned palate when it comes to chili. In fact, I have a bottle of chili sauce here, hot sauce there, which is only Scotch bonnet sauce. So we might just pour some of that in there. That is, I won't see that. That, that is a bad it, idea. I won't do that. I caught it in the right light, and I can now see that this actually does contain cinnamon in. Which I was thinking, what is that other burning thing that they put too much of? And the answer is cinnamon. And I tend cayenne to find pepper. it. I tend, yeah, kind of a big cayenne pepper mainly. I think cinnamon. I tend to find is like a little bit more. It's it's a little bit fiery, but it's never like really, you know, hits your palate in terms of shit. That's fucking hot. I never find that cinnamon hits me that way too much. It's a nice kind mm. of hotness. Hammer of Thor. Don't brew. Do brew. All grain. I'm struggling with this now. Chug it. Get it yeah. down here. I, I, I'll happily join the Dozzle Club. I, um, I don't want him. Hmm? No, I'm not being peer pressured into it. Go on, big peer pressure. No, I'm, I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap to the other one because that one I'm not keen on the brew dog one. The brew dog one, it's actually nearly halfway gone. I don't, I don't know if Greg actually chugged it. Then I just saw like him holding a glass and then just be like, "Oh fuck, that was a bad idea." No, the, the, no, I've, I've just got, I've just, just got the shite left in the bottom. That's fine. I'll give you yep. cloudy shits in the morning. Thanks for that lovely image. <laughs> I have to say the Bible Belt is yeah. like engine oil. It used to be really good, like when it was fresh, like two years ago. <laughs> that's what that's what I had. It was two about two years ago, but from Beer Gonzo, as you know. Um, and it was pretty nice back then, but I couldn't say how it be now. But, it's it's nice. The vanilla is nice. It's really it's the chocolate is not as prominent as the brew dog. The brew dog one, big chocolate flavour, right at the front, and then the chili hits at the end. That the Bible Belt is more of a sort of um, uh, hits you all at the same time. You get the chili, the vanilla, and the chocolate. So the chili sort of is is backing out a bit because mm. the vanilla and the chocolate are there straight away. Whereas the brew dog one's just not great because it's just like. Chocolate, 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 all chili forever. And it's just, yeah, you can't. Yeah. The, the flavors aren't can't enjoy it together. They, they don't work together. No. So you just <laughs> get that chili aftertaste. Where'd you get the brew dog one from? Uh, it's a supermarket bit of Morrison's, isn't it? I'm getting it repeating on me now. I've had it ages. It's probably, take probably been canned a while. Hmm. Uh, I never saw it in Morrison's, to be honest. I'll have to find a bit of Morrison's to find it from. I think it is big ones because my sister-in-law got it for, for Christmas. But it, it, I, I went to the one in Swindon. Right. It didn't have it there. It didn't have it in the one in Swindon. So it might be in a... I have to go... It's in Sainsbury's too, I think. Oh, is okay. It? I'll look. All right. I did, I've not seen it in Sainsbury's. I was in Sainsbury's so, yeah. yesterday. Um, I have to say, though, the well, perfect... I was, I was just got this big, massive display of, like, brew dog now. We no. had there was no there's none. They have the tiny rebel box set in, which I was interested in because I want to try the one that's uh the New England IPA that's got a umbrella on it. Can't think of the name. But there's a there's yeah, there's a tiny rebel beer that I'm, I'm interested in trying, but it only comes in the pack. And I'm like going Is that no, the, 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 the one box. is that the one the cocktail pack? No, 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 no. Because it's like a okay. supermarket one. Because it's got oh, um, yeah. Club Tropic, Tropica in it and mm -hmm. like the standard Trial Rebel stuff that I'm not like too fussed on. And I don't want to spend £15 on just for just for one beer. Yeah, yeah. What is it, like a 12 pack or something? Uh, yes. I've never seen a twelve pack of, of Tiny Rebel. Obviously, because I'm it's deprived. I'm deprived of supermarkets. It's. I, it might actually be a ten pack. 
and it's I think it's five different beers, but you get two of each. Okay. Hmm. I might I might go on a shop tomorrow and see how, how I feel tomorrow afternoon, and might I might go to Swindon because I've got I have, I've got to meet up with the guys at at the Valley at some point and um, talk about stuff in the future. So yeah, I might have to go or, to uh, other other job. My other other job where other other people run the business for my other other business. Um, and you just do deliveries. I just, I, I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just there to deliver, boy. That's me. Um, no, I just, yeah. Because I was going to buy some North Riding in this week. Because I saw the North Riding yeah. stuff. I, I, they've been up and down for me. I had, I had the uh, chocolate fudge porter. I was a bit disappointed with it. I know it's only five point seven or five point six. But it was a bit of a disappointing beer on flavour. But I've had stuff in the past on cask and it's been spot on. Yeah, yeah. It's it's they're mild, just just look I looked at that and I was like, I want it. Like I've Ooh. I've gone by the rule of generally they're darker beers I'll buy. Um Yes. But then when they've said they're doing the stab roast down, like I want that. So I'm gonna try and speak oh, yeah. to I'm, I'm, I'm gonna speak to Dale side and see if they can build me like a, a pallet of mixed beers and I can get that ordered in because that would be very nice. Mix from different breweries and stuff. And lots enjoy- of chili chili stouts from breweries that don't exist. <laughs> Just I enjoy random. I enjoy North Riding's pale stuff on cask. They are a very cask pale mm. orientated brewery. Yeah. Just not great on bottles. Yeah, no, I, I had one or two of the stuff, the paler stuff in bottles, and I wasn't happy with it. But I think years years in the past, I've tried their pale stuff on cask in, in the Keen's Head and also in Leeds as well, and I've been quite impressed by it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's been decent, you know. Um, but, you know, it's. I find, it's, I find Kellam Island like that as well. Yeah, Kellam Island's really good. I've had them in the Kellam Island pub in Sheffield. But not great in bottles. No. Never, never tried in bottles. I've had easy, easy rider, pale yeah, rider. Me, just easy rider. Me. I've had that in bottles and it wasn't as good as it was in cask. And that was even mm. for Weatherspoons because they had it in the Weatherspoons near me. Mm. When when I went to Weatherspoons before, Tim Martin completely went full dictatorship. Yeah. Throw people good old. Up. Yeah. Um, the golden days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You used to get three pints and a fry up. You can still get that. Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the afternoon. You can still get that if you know the right people. I know, but I don't want to go to don't want to go to where there's now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it used to be like a, a stalwart part of our books I used to work from as well. So I used to be like going in there getting discounted meals. And just being like, yeah, fine, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, I kind of fell in, fell in love with spoons um, after working for them, um, because I only, only worked for them for like two months, and then went to go and deliver to them and stuff, and I loved it because you just get free beer all the time before they are allowed to serve beer, like at seven o'clock in the morning. Have, have a beer. Have a little beer. No, I'm working. No, it's okay. It's okay. Have a little bit. Okay, fine. Cool. It's lovely that Paul's here because across yeah. the pond. Oh, hey, pal. Yeah, mixed grill. I the, I only do that when they haven't got the all day breakfast because I like an egg. Mm-hmm. I like an egg. You don't get that on the big grill. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's when you know the, the chefs well enough that you can start asking for stuff. You used to like the bottom of chicken burgers, way. but... Oh, yeah. With the JD sauce. That's that's the shit. But also, you, just, you, can, you can ask for stuff if you know the chefs in the, in the kitchen. Just ask for stuff yeah. off the menu and text them. That's what we used to do. Text them. It's essentially I'm putting through this order, and then, can I have this and this and this on top of it? Yeah, sure, fine. Orders. It's, it's, it's sad that it's that state now that you you know that they haven't 
throughout lockdown not been protecting their staff and it's just awful they, just don't, they don't give a shit about them that's, that's no yeah but um you know it's because they just see staff as you know because staff are never there for a long period of time uh the managers that, that are there might Number. be there for, i know one of them uh, yeah they're, they're just numbers you know the managers yeah. that might be there I, I knew i knew one who was the manager for he was three years at one pub, moved on to another pub, and he and he just w- careered round there. But now he's an operations manager, um, because you can move quite quick if you stay long enough. You can move quite quickly within spoons. Um, but the thing is, you just have to deal with so much shit before you move to the next level. Um, and uh, yeah, Raggy, I don't are you on top comments? Raggy should be on top comments. Yeah, you need to you need to put it on on live comments, my friend. All Raggy's comments are top comments. Yeah, they're all <laughs> premium comments. Um, oh, that dog on it. criminal. It's just lovely. It's lovely. The chocolate up front is really nice. It's like you know when you get um, you go to a coffee shop and uh, I tell you what. Say the hot chocolate does remind me of if you've ever been to a what are they called got a silly french name they sell cakes do coffee uh, uh, no valerie patisserie oh uh, yeah 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 so if you ever get the hot chocolate, yeah well done it if you ever get the hot chocolate from there it's like that uh, from i'm on a loop i think i'm on a lag. you are a bit of a lag woman <laughs> Is it just me that he's on a lag before? Or... No, he's on a lag for me, isn't it? Yeah. Carlisle internet, that's what it is. He's <laughs> almost, he's almost, almost, shit almost like Brexit. I'll, do you want to just shut up out then? No, you're right. It's fine. Um, all I was going to say is it's it's like, this is really the hot chocolate, yeah, it's like really dark chocolate. Mm. And that's what I get from that. But then I'd say it's just then bulldozed with the chilli. And he's just like, no, that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that nice flavour. This mm. is this this is really quite nice in, in comparison. It's just like a, I, I feel sorry for you both. I think you both need like a a mix of one of these because it's just like nice and sweet, and then it's got that kind of savoury note as well. But then got a bit, little bit of chilli warmth too. Works quite well. After this three years, he's not. This is really good because you have the coffee, you have the vanilla, the chilies are merely just sort of a side. Aperitif. Yeah, it's just kind of <laughs> there, but it's not, it's not a, it's just not anything. Oh. Loved your man. You loved your man. I would not have cider. I'd have a cider and beer. Snake bite? No, no snake bites. <laughs> snake bites, not oh, cider and beer. He's cleaning the kitchen. With their, that, this is usually me on a Saturday. And then people are on and I'm commenting. I've got no one to moan, so it's fine. Just kitchen stays as it is, which is semi clean all the time. Or clean I do not enough. believe it. Turn, pan round, if I could. I'll no, take a I photo mean, of you. The raggy was not drinking. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Because no one would normally believe that anyway. Yeah, snake bite wouldn't help anyone. I, I always find mixing cider and beer, if you mix new drinks on, on, a, on a night out, it's never a fucking good idea in general. Just yeah. stick to one. That's why, that's why most most bars ban it from being mixed, pre mixed. Mm. Um, but a snake bite for me was always had black currant in. It was always never all to the mist. A splash of black currant. I never liked it. No, that would. Yeah, because yeah. it was sh- a shitty lager and shitty cider. I'm guessing with shitty cordial. Uh, it was. Uh, so don't, uh, snake yeah. bite and black. Strong for me. Snake, 
snake bite and black. Oh god. <sighs> I think it was I think I'm trying to think what was on tap when I went. I was at Roper Hall when I was a student in Preston. So it was upstairs. It was always upstairs because we knew the bouncers, so we used to get guest list, like just text beforehand. It was I'm trying to think what it may have been, it may have been Strongbow Cronenberg combo. Ugh. We we never <laughs> drank it. We never drank it at uni. Uh, like, the uh my, my first year at uni was like I never drank until I went to university. Oh, how that changed! Um, but mm. the, the 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 first year was like now is where you discover drinks. So you got tried loads of different stuff, but I never tried snake bite. No. But the the, the one thing I, I always remember, which is one I would never want to try again, was Jaeger wines, which was a Jaeger wine. Jaeger wine, in it. and you have it, yeah, basically like a Jaeger bomb in a in a in a like half pint of, of wine of white wine. I never want to have that again because that got me fucked, we, absolutely yeah. fucked off that. We, I, I stopped drinking cider my first year after having very horrible incidents with it. Especially, I had it through sixth form college because my school didn't have sixth form sixth form college, and then I had it when I was. Uh, was it the first year of uni? And then I stopped drinking cider. And I kind of went mostly spirits with mm. beer, um, but not together. Um, but we used to have one called a Rear Admiral. And it was all the brown liquor on the top row <laughs> in a glass. It's called the Rear Admiral. Oh. It, would get, it would get you from behind. <laughs> and it, oh. Oh, and a rear admiral always had to have two things. It had to start with Jaeger and it had to finish with Lamb's Navy Rum. Therefore, it was a rear admiral. Lamb, Lamb's Navy Rum, it's not actually a proper Navy Rum, though, is it? It could seem like 50. It's, no. it's, it's, much, it's much weaker than a standard Navy Rum. It is, but we were having singles of everything on the top row. Top row was quite long. Uh, that means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's more, more than 105.4% or whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's more like 469.7%. Yeah. Yeah. Three drinks a night, isn't it, right? <laughs> not having that. I'm not having that. He says he's got no one to bother him, but yes, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, not having it. So that's funny. My mum banned me from drinking gin. Wish. She used to say it's mother's ruin. You went and asked drink drink. I don't like gin, so it was fine. I, I I went out one time and I had fat. We went to this nightclub and they had an offer on for like um, blue balls. So I, I drank about a shitload of blue, blue balls and lemonade and I threw up in my bedroom, covered my walls. And my mum always said that after that, because I had this blue vomit that covered the... The, the bedroom that I was never allowed to drink blue balls. I've never touched it since. <laughs> I'm petrified of it. <laughs> we used we used yeah, to have a, uh, one at we used to have one at the students' union where it was called. Um, oh, it was like Nasdaq, the you know the American stock exchange. They called it something. It was like it was like a play on words from Nasdaq, and they basically whatever wasn't selling would drop in price. And they had it up on a telly screen and it would drop in price. And then <laughs> everything everyone was buying would increase. So you used to get like, it used to go in and all the rugby lot would turn up. And it was Foster's. So Foster's used to go to like six pounds a pint and everyone would go, not fucking buying Foster's, Foster's now. And then like no one's buying Malibu. Malibu was like one pound three for a, for a single. People are going, Malibu, Malibu. And then you see Malibu go up. And then, <laughs> then everyone goes, no, we're not buying Malibu anymore. It's, it's, it's six pounds it's six pound a shot. We're not buying anymore. And then we drop down to something else. But you do like blue balls, blue balls, 93p. And then it would go up slightly and people go, that was fucking horrible. And they go back down to 93p. <laughs> <laughs> it was just... I mean, they could get <laughs> the stock market of beers. Yeah, it was. That's what it, it was. I can't remember what it was called. It was based on Nasdaq, with the American Stock Exchange. It was yeah. the name. It was like a play on words of that. I can't remember what it was called. 
Uh, and it was just a... Uh, Four sack. Um, <laughs> just, um, I finished all my chili ales. Just got that left. That porter. I, 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 was, I was very intrigued to try it, but I was very worried that they'd cop out and make a substance stout instead. Um, a lot of people said it was shit, from what I've read. Bowman? Where's Bowman gone? Um, but Bowman's gone. He's gone. Just gone. Um, a lot of people gone. said it was, his camera's gone. Yeah, his camera's gone black. Um, a lot of people said it was a bit shit, but I was like, you know, here's another can of it, a full can of it, um, which can send to you if you want it, Adam. Um, nope, he's, back. Was, he's back. He's back. Um, I thought it was actually okay. I thought, you know, I've, I've seen the ratings on Untapped, and it doesn't deserve 3.4 or whatever the fuck it got mm. on Untapped. I think that's a solid porter. Um, I think yeah, mainly, thing. mainly because it's OG, it's old school. People just, you know, don't rate it quite as highly. It's a, it's a really solid Maybe. porter. It's a bit, it's a bit roasty. It's a bit, you know, hard on that, but I think it's nice. I am um, people. I have this big issue with porters, and people underestimating what a, the thickness of a porter. Porter is not supposed to be thick. The whole point is, it's a stout porter. It's a stout. It's a fat. Porter. Yeah. So yeah. the porter, porter shouldn't be. Yeah. It's 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 not it's not thick at all, is this porter. I thought it was gonna be thicker than what it was because of the amount of oats and whatnot in it. But you know, it's it's solid. It's it's solid four out of five for me. Uh would happily have it again. Um right. I'm I'm gonna say thank you for everyone. I've got Six people watching. That's amazing. I had a 13 at one point, but I'm going to call it... Oh, Bullman's gone. I didn't even kick him out. There we go. He's back. Oh, he's back. Um, I'm going to call it now uh, because Craig, lovely Craig at Kent Beer Reviews, is doing a stream at 8 o'clock, so I'm conscious that he's starting now, and I think everyone should go over there. So if, if, if you've not subscribed to Kent Beer Reviews, jump over. We'll probably see you in a bit. Um, I've got a Got a couple Anymore. of things to do around the house, and then I will be there. Raggy's still bloody cleaning. That'll be me tomorrow. Um, Seen a bit raggy. Uh, but we'll Greg will be on. I anticipate till later on. Um, but yeah, everyone should go there. I don't know if he's live yet. I haven't actually looked. But no, he he's, he's if. He said he said from eight he'll be live, and then eight thirty opens up to everyone else. Yeah. So I've got bits and pieces to do anywhere around the house. So that's. That's fine. But yeah, everyone should jump over to Kent Beer Reviews, the lovely Craig. Thank you very much. You're too generous. 100 plus uh, subscribers is ridiculous for someone who just does live streams and talks shite. Slut. Thank you. Oh, a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, that's right. you Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll end on that though. <laughs> uh, thanks to everyone on YouTube and also <laughs> Periscope. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Everyone go over to Can Be Reviews. Bye, guys.